Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I think EA have one objective throughout this whole footballers promo, and that is to mud our clubs and drain our coins from whatever we have to zero until we have nothing left because they just keep releasing even more SBCs and with that even more prices keep dropping on the market everywhere that I look right now prices just keep going lower so that's what I'll look at in today's video is can they keep going are prices going to keep dropping at this rate it seems like they are we'll look at that and how you maybe can make some coins with prices dropping like this if you can time the market just right and also how you might be able to make coins every single day on fodder as they're releasing all these SBCs. We're going to take a look at that and more and what to expect today on a Sunday in FIFA 23 with footballers content upcoming. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up and of course if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Let's go right away and look back at yesterday's content, do a little bit of a roundup and look at what they dropped yesterday because we had once again another good, cheap, and just kind of fun card dropped with the footballers promo. Patrick Banford, we knew this was going to be the Banford day, right? We now know every single day who's going to be dropping because of the objective. An 82 rated squad, right? Or with an inform is what this was. Very easy to do. Very cheap. And then you go and you play a couple of games. And just like with Luis Diaz, it's very quick and very easy to do. And you can get to playing with this Banford upgraded card with 99 dribbling and four star skill moves in no time, right? I believe all you have to do is score a goal in four separate matches. And here's where it's starting to get really interesting with these objectives. You can actually uh, combine. You could have done Luis Diaz and Bamford uh, and got them both done today with both of the um, SBC cards. You can also start to combine some of the new objectives that they dropped yesterday as well with even more footballers players and a lot of really good packs. So at least EA is trying to mud our clubs right now and take our coins all the way down to zero, right? Because of all the content that is out, at least they're giving us gameplay objectives where we can go out and try draft we can, in squad battles, which we're already playing to get these guys completed for objectives, right? You get some extra packs for doing so. So this is very nice from EA to get some extra cards, some fun cards, right? The Saudi guy here, McGeady, five-star skills. Um, you've got the Dan Juma, of course, at the end of it. Um, and you got a lot of packs in between. So a big W from EA Sports. The Super Loans team pack is kind of like whatever. Um, but I think this objective is a big W as well for the continuation of the grind they give you a draft token you can go to draft you know when you're winning and you're playing those draft games you get the packs same thing with squad battles so here's my take if you are playing weekend league this weekend and you have not actually started uh, grinding you know the squad battles games to get any of these objectives done maybe hit the pause button on that right quick unless you want these cards right away you still technically have 12 days to get all these objectives done and all the SBCs are still available as well you don't have to stay on top of this every single day if you don't want to I mean I'm sure you're not going to be able to combine all the squad battles games for every single one of these cards but like let's say if you could do the first three right maybe score a finesse goal score a goal we'll see if they continue on this path of just like score a goal in a couple of different games or assist or maybe you know score from across with a certain player or something like that we'll see if they keep up with that trend but you might be able to combine some of these objectives so that you don't have to play as many games if you don't want that card right away but still it's a w grind right now this content is absolutely incredible and it didn't stop with the objectives yesterday in the sbcs we had yet another big time sbc the 87 plus base or fifa world cup hero player pick came back this is the one last week that we were so excited about i got captivia from this it's the one of five player pick 84 85 and 86 rated squads you did have to have that 87 rated uh, player requirement in it but this SBC is really hyped, right? I think it was more exciting last week when people had fodder to actually do it. The problem right now with this SBC is, and it's only 19% upvoted on Footbin, we're all broke and out of fodder, or at least most of us don't have a ton of fodder. If, at least if you do have some extra, you probably have it more on the higher end than the lower end, right? Because all the lower end fodder and all these like 83 doubles, the 85 mix, the 82 times 20, right? That's all low end fodder that's required for that. So this is at least craftable with high rated fodder if you do want to go ahead and do that. But 311,000 coins, I think most people right now are realizing their fodder can be used in other places um, for better purposes, right, than using it in this SBC, which is why it's got such a 
low upvote percentage. Now, speaking of more SBCs, let's talk a bit more about today. And I want to show you guys how you might be able to make profit every single day with certain cards because we've seen this price fluctuation now two days in a row because we're getting the same type of content refreshed every single day with an additional player SBC and maybe another SBC kind of put out there, right? Look at 82s, 83s, and 84s, but specifically the 83s. Remember on last night's video where I was buying 83s at like 3.2, 3.3K, and what did they go to yesterday, right? Uh, okay, Henderson's a bit of a weird example because of course there was an extra Liverpool requirement in Diaz, but let's look at Ruben Neves' card. Ruben Neves yesterday, I was buying him when I was recording the video at 3.3K. Here we are again, 3.5 right now. So up a little bit. All these guys are trending up. But what you can see is around the content time every single day on these 83s, fodder prices are spiking because people are going out and doing, you know, Bamford or the Luis Diaz that was dropped yesterday. And the more SBCs that get dropped, yes, this fodder is going to continue to trend upwards. Um, but you can trade with this every single day. You get 83s on bid or on snipe today on Sunday morning for like three low threes, like 3.2 to 3.3. K, you're going to be able to sell some of these cards for 4,000 coins plus to some lazy buyers around the content or an hour after the content dropped today on Sunday. So that's what I would really, really look for. 82s to 84s are going to be the best. 83s are in so much demand. 82s are in so much demand. You can see this right yesterday from like 12, 1300 coins. These guys go up to about 1700. Now, again, also know that right now we're in the middle of the weekend, which means people are playing weekend league and there's more tradable packs pack supply than there's going to be throughout the rest of the week. So these card prices, you're like, Nate, they're going between like three to 4,000 coins. That's not that big of a deal. Well, a couple things. First thing is um, it is weekend league. So you have a lot more supply and a lot more people are opening tradable packs because they get their games done. They open their packs. Now, a lot of people I think are still opening their packs right now because they need those gold players, gold rares, gold non rares, maybe the 82s and 83s to get all the SBCs done right now. So I think some people are saving packs but I also think some people are opening packs as well because you just need that lower end uh, uh, stuff on this game to at least get anything done. And when this weekend ends, right, today, tonight, tomorrow, when the weekend league is ending and there's less packs being opened, that's when I think you're really going to start to see the fodder prices start to take off. Because if EA does not put tradable packs out in SBCs, I know that the 75 plus packs inside of like the 83 double and the 75 times five are tradable, right? If you guys have been doing any of these, like this pack right here, the 75 plus rated rare player, sometimes you hit an 83 or an 84 out of this and it's like, oh, boom, I just got something that's worth like four or, you know, 8,000 coins and go and sell it, right? There's a little bit of supply coming in from that, but not that much. I think a lot of your supply is going to dry up even more so as we exit the weekend. So if you're looking to invest at all today, if you're looking to buy in any fodder cards, whether it's for a fluctuation or whether it's for maybe a hole until later into the week, I really think this low tier fodder still has room to go up, even though it's so expensive already so just kind of know that you can daily trade with these cards today's squad battle rewards right we're gonna have the um the rewards given out i forget what time it is exactly but think about how many people have been playing squad battle rewards it's actually very soon uh after this video is going to go live squad battle rewards are going to be out and that's going to bring some supply to the market it's going to be a great opportunity to get on bids for 82s, 83s, and 84s, buy some of those, and uh, you'll be set for the content that comes out today, and maybe even set for a couple days down the line, depending on how many you want to buy. So that's what I wanted to point out in regards to the SBC fodder, because there is so much potential to buy it and flip it every day, or just buy it and put it in your club for a cheaper price. That way, you know, when an SBC comes out, like today, when the Kulisevsky comes out, probably going to be an 83 rated squad because he's an 86 rated card. You're going to be able to do that SBC easy, or if you want to do an 8220 today or whatever it is, you're going to have, uh, you, you kind of have to right now, it's not about getting the fodder at the best price possible. It's like, okay, can I get this fodder at a reasonable price before it goes up later on today? Because I know there's an SBC that I'm going to want to do. So that's kind of what I would watch out for. But seriously, get on the bids and look to sell for lazy buyers, right? When I talk about lazy buyers, you, you, some of you guys know what I mean. Some of you may not. Like you see here, Muniain was between 7K and 8K yesterday. 
I bet there are people selling 84s at like eight and a half to 9,000 coins because sometimes when people search the market, they don't exactly search for the cheapest price. They think, okay, I'm just going to search for this guy. And then whenever I see one, I'm going to buy one. And for some, you know, that don't pay attention that much to prices and stuff like that, they might just search for Muni Ayn. And if you search for Muni Ayn, what do you see? Okay, a bid at 6K, 10K. Oh, you know what? Boom. I'm going to go buy this one at 9,000 coins because it's cheaper than the ones that I all saw here. People do that a lot on this game. Listing for lazy buyers is so crucial to help you make more coins on this game, and it can make you a lot of coins uh, throughout the entire year on FIFA. So I that would be one big tip I would give you guys right now, specifically on the lower rated fodder. On the higher rated fodder, I'm still watching my 91s. I'm still invested, guys. I still have all of these. Really what I'm waiting for is that play of the month in Bappe SBC. And if EA were to drop any other icon SBCs today or something like that, I mean, Messi is 68K. What's Lewandowski? Checking all these guys. You just you love seeing their prices continue to go up 67k for Lewandowski right now. These 91s, all the high rated fodder continues to hold price as well as it should. There's nothing to bring it down at this time. So keep holding on to that. Lazy listing that stuff as well. Lazy list that stuff high. I've got mine listed at like 77,000 coins. Um, it listed up there pretty hot. Look, I just got a lazy sale on Lamella at 50,000 coins. I bought that at 40k. List for lazies, guys. Perfect example right there. Now, Sunday content. What else are we going to get today, right? We know Kudusevsky. He is, of course, next in line. Hopefully, he gets the five-star skills. Like I said, I think he's going to be an 83-rated squad requirement today, just like Luis Diaz, because he was an 86-rated um, base SBC card when he dropped on Friday. I think Kudusevsky will be the same. Then the other question I have is, what more can we get from EA Sports? With all of these SBCs that we have out right now, the only other leak we have is for Furpo. Um, we have not seen the Furpo footballers card yet. And I don't even think we have a footballers card design here in the store search because obviously there's none out on the market. But um, Furpo is the only leaked card. If we're going to have any more leaks, I mean, those, of course, could be dropping today. Um, I'm guessing Furpo would be an objective, but who knows at this stage. If they give us more objectives for more packs, um, they play to style, play to ball. Maybe there's going to be like a play to upgrade. I don't even know, man. Uh, if they keep dropping more objectives with more packs, I mean, we won't say no because right now we just need all the fodder we can get. And however they're going to give it to us, um, we would we would love to have it. So there's our chance for Furpro today. And uh, I just, I don't know if they're going to drop another icon SBC, guys. I just don't know how much further this can go on, how much longer this can go on with a big icon upgrade SBC still available for five days. All of these SBCs refreshing every single day. Um, and then getting the basic or hero player pick yesterday, maybe an icon player SBC, but we just had Cruyff. I mean, seriously, a lot of question marks for me today. Besides the Kudusevsky, not entirely sure what we would get because there's going to be a quiet day of content soon. There always is, right? We always come down from the crazy high, but at least for right now, we are still on that mountaintop of FIFA content just being absolutely insane every single day. We're going to talk about the market in just a second because we have not yet. I want to talk about the store really fast too. Every single day, EA is making bank in here right now um, because they know specifically with this provisions pack, people are buying this pack every single day. And if that's you, that's not a problem because this gives you a hundred gold common players. And I completely understand the 500 FIFA point value of this. If you're somebody who spends FIFA points on the game, this saves you a lot of time from going and buying those commons and a lot of, you know, coins technically, um, because commons are what five, 600 coins right now. So instead of this, you just pay 500 FIFA points and boom, you have it. But EA is so smart with what's going on, man. They just have people turning to the store this year like none other. And also right now, if you want to pack anything cool, think about it this way. EA is not dropping anything in packs. So if you want to pack something cool and have that rush, what you have to do is go to the store and spend a lot of FIFA points on one of these review packs, which they dropped a 400K pack yesterday. 87% chance of a Winter Wild Cards, 86 of a Centurions, 85 of a Future Star. Crazy, crazy luck on that pack right there, of course, because of the uh, guaranteed players from the promos. I have not opened any of these. I probably am not going to open that. It's just a lot of coins for my liking. Um, sometimes we do those gamble packs in the store with coins, but when it's that much... That is a lot of, I didn't make that many coins yesterday to be able to say that I can afford opening that pack today. So maybe a new store pack today. Keep an eye out there in the store as well. Now let's talk about the market because again, we talked about it a lot yesterday. Prices are starting to drop and we saw the continuation of that yesterday on this game and it's going to happen even more into today. One card we look at all the time is Golden Bappe, right? And I want to show you guys Golden Bappe on the market at the moment. 640, about 645,000 coins. 
just look at this graph since Friday. Friday, this guy was 730K, which was already down a little bit, by the way. Boom, big drop off Friday down to 694. And look at yesterday, same thing. Started the day up in the 690s once again, and then boom, content drops 650. And he's still slowly sliding down in price. Honestly, guys, this is probably going to continue to happen. If the content does not slow down, you're going to have drops like this just about every single day. Usually the drops are a bit more accentuated on the weekends, especially we had a striker dropped yesterday. I'm, I doubt many people are substituting Mbappe in their teams for Bamford. But besides the points, a fun card at least, you know, you're going to see prices continue to drop like this. And Mbappe is a card that we look at all the time as kind of like a barometer. So if Mbappe is dropping, then prices everywhere else should be dropping on this game. Let me just give you an example. Um, you know, cards that aren't dropping right now in price, especially if it's on a mid to lower tier. I'm trying to like look through a couple cards right now for maybe something that's not down that much. If something is not down a lot, that would be like a warning sign to me. Like if you have a card tradable, uh, besides like a Trent Alexander-Arnold, like obviously this card is up because the Premier League links, because of the Luis Diaz links. But let's say you got some some random guy from like, I don't know, the foot, foot Future Stars promo. Um, like Enzo Fernandez is still 1.4 million coins. That's still up there, right? Um, Musiala is still 1.4 million coins. I think that if any, a card has not dropped off at all yet, Gavi still 590k with all the Premier League hype that we have right now. A card like this that hasn't dropped off, I would look to get out of that card because if it hasn't dropped yet, it has more drop coming um, in the near future. It really does. I just think that this these drops are going to continue as the amount of coins being drained off this market every single day is really, really crazy. And it's going to keep taking coins off this game, and that's going to make prices continue to fall lower on all aspects. You had a lot of the top tier cards. We mentioned it in last night's video as well. A lot of your top tier cards are starting to fall because you had um, some qualifiers happening over the weekend. Look at Yaga Toure, 3.7 million coins. He's now down at 3.15. Now, is that down too much? Will he bounce back a little bit? You're going to have some fluctuations in there. But a lot of your pro level cards on the top tier uh, have been dropping too because of qualifiers being played and people selling their teams afterwards and of course that just kind of you know is added on top of the already crashing market so just continue to be very very careful with all cards on this game because i do believe prices are going to drop some more today and um you know you, you don't want to be stuck in a situation where you're holding a card that is just losing its value day by day as more and more coins are drained off of this game as well now another thing i want to look at are these foot fantasy cards because a lot of them have been dropping as well but for different reasons hazard 600k el clasico is today man are you serious are you serious el clasico is today i might have to pick one of these up because look at hazard he was 630 yesterday all the way up to 670 down now into the 620 uh 620 000 coin range these cards are dropping a lot because investors are selling them either before the game or during the game. Most of these guys are going down after a game. Even Emre Chan, who did not is not getting an upgrade for a performance, but Emre Chan and Dortmund, they won the game. So he's going to get a plus one whenever EA decides to upgrade these cards. Even still, his price went from 340k down to 300,000 coins. I picked up three right here. He's kind of starting to go back up, and I hope that he has a very similar price rise to Esau who performed very well um, on Friday, exploded in price up to 400k, and then just kept rising into yesterday, 440, then dropped back down, of course, after Bamford was released, another Premier League striker. Keep a close eye on these cards. Ben Acer is one, you know, kind of like a, you know, a horror story, if you will. 420,000 coins. Milan, you lose yesterday to Udinese. He goes all the way down to 300K. I picked one up there, sold him at 330. He's kind of now back down. You can absolutely fluctuation trade with these cards, like the Eden Hazard I just mentioned, like El Clasico is today, right? Look at the guys that have games today. And if they're down, if you look at them this morning or heading into the game time, you know, don't go crazy with it by any means. Don't try to go all out. But these guys are still live cards. And if Real Madrid scores first today, this guy's going to go up in price. I have, I bought a Di Natale yesterday after Udinese scored. These heroes, guys, I think people forget that the heroes get a plus one. Uh, after one win, that's all that it takes. Now, I sold my Di Natale too early. I always do this with live cards, man. I always sell way too early with lives. I bought Di Natale at 1.91. He was being panic sold as pros were selling off their teams. This guy was being panic sold a ton. Picked him up at 1.9, and I ended up selling him at 2.07. 
uh, because um, that was when Zlatan Ibrahimovic scored the penalty, and I thought Milan were going to start kicking back and come back. They didn't. They ended up losing 3-1. to one. This card is now a 2.2 million coin card, and I lost out on like 120,000 coins of profit. But these cards move. If you want to figure out where all these guys are getting their upgrades at, just head over to the um, Players tab, drop down Dynamic to Fantasy, and you can see every single live card. Uh, and this is where you can kind of keep track of these cards, and you can also see like if a player played or not. Boom, Marquez, plus one. New York Red Bulls, one. Saliba is injured. This is a specific card we need to talk about. Saliba dropped off a ton because there was news that came out yesterday that Saliba is going to be out for like four to five weeks, which is longer uh, than just like the one or two weeks that we initially thought it was. Of course, we do have international break upcoming, which definitely impacts these cards. Um, but yeah, just be really careful with these foot fantasy cards. They can be big money. They can also be big losses. And But again, the same kind of thing holds true. And I also bought a couple Meliers yesterday. I got a, a cheap one on bid, but some low 50s on Melier for the Bamford links. The same holds true with just being able to flip rare cards in the panic selling. I bought a Salah at 630, sold it at 700 because fluctuations on a rare card this Goretzka I'm looking I'm trying to get 1.5 something he's 1.6 right now he is down like 300,000 coins this Kyle Walker is down a ton and I know there's a lot of pro people that are selling off teams uh out there so it's risky because you know it might not work out Chiesa went from 700k back to like what is he right now like 750 maybe even higher than that so these cards do move out of pack specials. You can trade on this market right now. You just have to be careful and you have to find big drop offs to get uh, some profit on a bounce back on a rare card. So it's risky business out there right now. I do believe the market's going to fall further today. So be careful, but you can make some coins with fodder and hopefully EA Sports just do something else to surprise us today. All right. And make some coins off that fodder. Get on those bids, stock your club, and you'll make some coins today with those cards as well because that's what everybody needs right now in this game. Is fodder. If you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out.